What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general club reading for sign of Aquarius. This will resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the energy of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general club reading for sign of Aquarius. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,240 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I appreciate all the donations um, if you choose to donate. All right, so I received a channel message. I heard Aquarius, and I received a channel message. We're rolling for July 2022. Um, so I'm going to do it. Love you guys. Okay, so uh, the channel message I received was um, an Aquarius's relationship, some with the Libra, some with the Capricorn, some with the Virgo, is about to crash and burn into the ground in a huge way. Um that's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. So an Aquarius's relationship for some with the Capricorn, for some with the Libra, for some with the, with the Virgo, Virgo is about to crash and burn in a huge way. Now, I feel they could be masculine or femme Capricorn, masculine or femme Libra, masculine or femme Virgo. They could have Capricorn, Libra, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the main energy for charts, but crash and burn relationship energy. I feel it could be, I mean, that's just like put. So I feel you could be put you could be putting the relationship or they could be putting the relationship. Now, to me, this could be personal or professional. However, that resonates and applies. Or family. Toxic family. I mean, however that resonates. It could be many different aspects. Um, personal, professional, family, community, etc., etc., etc. Capricorn, Libran. Virgo. For some, it could be one sign. For some, two or two plus. And just because, you know, it could be 500 Capricorns, two Libras, and 50 Virgos. Only you know your situation and story and how many people you interact with and not anybody else. But I heard Capricorn, Libra, Virgo. It could be a masculine or femme, Capricorn, Libra, or Virgo. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Him, or Jupiter charts. But whoever these people are and how they apply in your life, um, that, 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 that. Aquarius, their, your relationship with them is about to crash and burn in a huge way. Summon an Aries. Summon Aries. Summon Aries. So Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, Aries. They could have Capricorn, Libra, Virgo, or Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Crashing and burning relationship energy. I mean, like, put, put. Of course, like I said, you could be putting this relationship or some or they could be putting the relationship however that resonates and applies spirit messages you have signs of the word uh, by the way personal readings are currently closed right now i've been getting a lot of um, inquiries about that personal readings are currently closed um when they are open, I will let everybody know. We have power. They're $125 for 20 minutes. If I go over, I do not charge you the extra. When they are open, but they are currently closed right now. Spirit, I said you share with someone first. Fourth chakra, Archangel uh, Raphael, the heart chakra. Number 38 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Number 38. You have the elk energy and the dragonfly energy. For some, you could be dealing with the earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And um, their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and Haven, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Which I know a lot of you guys are Capricorn, Virgo, and Libra energy in there. 
for the crash and burn energies, um, relationship energies. So just saying, just saying. For some, these relationships are readers. For some, the relationships are readers is what I heard. So for some, these relationships are readers. Um, online public platforms. Online public platforms. So they're readers, and uh, it sounds like you're about to nix these relationships with these readers. Um, they have online public platforms in some shape, form, or fashion. The Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Libra or Aries, um, whoever they are. For some, they're former lovers. For some, they're criminals. For some, they're former lovers, and for some, they're criminals. So, for some, they're readers. Ow! For some, of their readers, online public platform readers. For some, their um, ex-lovers, and for some, they are criminals. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Aquarius. Our right to sue letter is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. A right to sue letter is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. Holy shit, Aquarius. So you plug it in, how it resonates. A right to sue letter. And I did a reading on um, a right to sue letter. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, I've never sued anybody or been sued. But apparently, in some situations, you have to have a right to sue letter. In some situations, apparently. Um, this could be you acquiring this right to sue letter. Or, some, or you're going to help somebody acquire a right to sue letter. Or something of that nature. Um, however that resonates. Um, some kind of right to sue letter. Whether you're going to sue somebody and you're obtaining, um, about to obtain, already have obtained a right to sue letter. Or you're going, to, or you know somebody that's going to um, obtain a right to sue letter. Or already has obtained a right to sue letter. Or, um, or you're going to help somebody um, obtain a right to sue letter. Or you have helped somebody obtain a right to sue letter. However that resonates. That's some serious, oh my God, maybe, oh my God. So I think you're an emotional over person people face a situation or somebody's emotional over you, however that resonates. Oh my God. An Aquarius's adult son is about to start having severe work issues soon. He has never had them before, but the work dynamic has completely changed. Know this. An Aquarius's adult son is about to start having severe work issues. I heard he never had work issues in the past, but the work dynamic has completely changed. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. You, uh, I feel you could be masculine or feminine, Aquarius. But um, it, your son is in a workplace dynamic somewhere in the universe. I feel this is your biological son. For some, it could be a foster son. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, I heard he never had work issues in the past. So he, he never had problems in the past in his workplace. But it sounds like there's been a lot of 555 change energy. And it sounds like upcoming soon, um, 
with all the changes in the workplace that sounds like are, have already occurred and probably some that are about to occur, it's about to start causing him issues in some shape, form, or fashion. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. And you have the chain of events card. So yeah, series of chain of events have occurred in his workplace, which is going to cause him work issues upcoming in the universe. It's your son, if that resonates for you. For a lot of you guys, I feel it's your biological for son. For some, I feel it could be a foster son. You plug it in, how it resonates. You have chain, chain of, a, chain of events that will affect your life. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Coins, money will be coming to you. Wow. Elk. A leader in your field, an expert. You're about to really, really stand up and be the leader you are in your field. Okay, I heard a leader in your field, an expert. You're about to really, really stand up and become a leader in your field. For some, you're an RN. For some, you're a lawyer. For some, you work for the FBI. Oh my God, whoa. You plug it in, how it resonates. So for some, um, you are RN, so registered nurse. RNs unite, just saying, just saying. Some, you're a registered nurse. Some, you are a lawyer. And for some, you work for the FBI. And I heard that for real, for real. So, um, but it sounds like whoever you are, RN, uh, lawyer, or... Um, working for the FBI, whoever you are, though you can be masculine or feminine for any of these people. Um, but you are, I feel you've been doing it for a while. I feel you've been doing it for a while. I heard you're a leader in your field. You're very knowledgeable um, with whatever you do in whatever field this is. You're very knowledgeable and you're about to use your expertise and help somebody in your career field or help yourself. Um, how would that resonate? Um, I feel you're going to use your antlers here with the elk energy and become the leader you are, if this resonates for you, Aquarius. I feel you can be masculine or feminine, whoever you are, but you're taking on the elk energy here, leadership. Whether you're an RN, a lawyer, or a um, work in the FBI, whoever you are. For some, you're a doctor. For some, you're a doctor. For some, you're a retired doctor. For some, you're a doctor, and for some, you're a retired doctor. So for some, you're a doctor, and for some, you're a retired doctor. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dragonfly. A very flashy and spoiled doppelganger is really getting on your nerves, and they're going to continue to get on your nerves. You're about to create many negative series of chain events for this person. Feminine energy water sign. Okay, I heard a spoiled and greedy um, fem water sign doppelganger has already gotten on your nerves, and they're going to continue to get on your nerves. I heard you're going to create many negative series of chain events for this person. Um, whoever this person is. I think they're coming off as a dragonfly energy. Um, very flashy and, you know, dragonflies love to be seen. They buzz, 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 buzz around. They love to be seen. They speak it loud and proud. They, uh, they just go, uh, they just go everywhere and they love to be seen like attention seeking. I feel this water sign is very attention seeking, attention, sorry, attention seeking. I can't speak. Attention seeking. And um, you know this. I heard they've already gotten on your nerves and they're going to continue. Um, and you're going to create some kind of negative series of chain events for them. So that could be the chain energy as well. 
I heard they're water sign doppelgangers, so they are doppelganging either you or somebody you're connected to. Um, doppelgangers are people that either naturally look like somebody on the external or they recreate themselves aesthetically to look like somebody externally. Um, it's not about insides for doppelgangers. It's about external appearance. But they externally either look like you or somebody you're connected to. How that resonates. But they're coming off with the dragonfly energy. You're about to create many negative series of chain events for them. If this resonates for you, um, Aquarius. And a Gemini is about to hate you in a huge way. Know this, but you already intuitively know this. And you don't care. Okay, I heard it. And Gemini is about to really hate you, but intuitively you know this and you don't care. So, some kind of Gemini energy. Gemini masculine. Gemini masculine. I heard it's a Gemini masculine. So, they could have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hater, Jupiter, charts. Gemini masculine energy. Um, I heard they're about to hate you, um, but you already intuitively know they're about to hate you. So whatever you're about to do, you're about to create some kind of series of chain of events that I think is going to um, cause this Gemini to hate you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but I heard you don't care. So whoever you are, you don't care anyway. So whoever this Gemini masculine is, you have to plug it in how it resonates. He is about to be livid. But you know it needs to be done. Okay, I heard he is about to be livid, so he's about to be really pissed, really freaking pissed, but I heard you know what needs to be done, and you want to do it anyways, and you want to do it anyways, so you know what needs to be done, and you want to do it anyways, so whatever the hell this is, it's going to piss off a Gemini masculine, but I heard you don't care anyways. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Life-changing events have already occurred in Aquarius' life, and more life-changing events are going to occur. Huge life-changing events. Okay, I heard huge life-changing events have already occurred in uh, Aquarius' life. More huge life-changing events are going to occur. So, chain of events that will affect your life. These are these huge tower moment S type life-changing events. Now, they can be positive or negative. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But huge tower moment S type energy, whether it's negative or positive. And an Aquarius masculine is about to create many negative series of chain events for a Cancer masculine. A pain in your ass for some an Aries masculine. A pain in your ass for some a Scorpio masculine. A pain in your ass. Oh my God. Okay, Aquarius masculine. Jeez. So um, if this resonates for you, Aquarius masculine, um, for some you're going to create negative series of chain events for a Scorpio masculine. Some uh. Cancer masculine and some of Aries masculine. I heard a huge pain in your ass. So you are about to be the power play mover here. You're Aquarius masculine. You could have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the Manhattan of Jupiter charts. You're about to create negative series of chain events. Some for the Aries masculine, some for the Scorpio masculine, some for the um, Cancer masculine. I heard there are a huge pain in your ass. For some, it could be one of these people. For some, two or two plus. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But in this situation, you are an Aquarius masculine and you're going to create a series of chain events negatively for the pains in your asses, basically. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger can be important. A meeting with a completely new person in a public space is about to be life-changing for an Aquarius. 
a meeting with a uh, completely new person in a public space is about to become completely life-changing for an Aquarius. So I feel that could go positive or negative. Um, you have to plug it in and all life how it resonates Aquarius. But it's a, it sounds like a by chance um, conversation and meeting. Um, for some, it could be a planned meeting. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a by chance type of situation um, that you're going to randomly run into this person in public. Um, but I heard it's going to be life changing. And it's a completely new person, whoever this person is to you. Completely new person. Um, I heard it's going to be life changing. So to me, that could be in a positive or negative way. For some, it is a banker. For some, it's a homeless person. For some, it's a mother. For some, it's a banker. For some, it's a homeless person. For some, it's a mother. So this completely new person in uh, this public space that's going to change your life e either, either in a positive or negative way. For some, they're a mother. For some, they're a banker. For some, they are a homeless person. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Coins, money will be coming to you. Legal business is about to really, really, really uptick in Aquarius's life. And for one Aquarius, you are about to, you're a criminal Aquarius masculine. You are about to run into an undercover agent. And your ass is about to go down. Know this. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So. For a lot of you guys, you, you're legal. You're legal. You do business legally. Um, so I, you don't have to worry about the undercover agent, apparently, um, for one. Uh, I mean, for a lot of you guys. Um, so some kind of legal business is about to uptick in a positive way. So money will be coming to you. I feel you are business owners um, is what I feel for a lot of you guys. You're business owners. Uh, you either have one business or two or two plus businesses. But I feel your business is about to uptick whatever business or businesses you purvey. Um, and it's going to increase your revenue and uptick your business. I heard legal, so that's important, apparently. But for one of you guys, you are a criminal masculine Aquarius. And I'm just being for real. I heard criminal. You are a criminal. Um, now, whether you've been exposed as a criminal and been put away and locked away as a criminal, I don't know, because there's millions of, I mean, not millions, but a lot of freaking people out there in the world that have not been exposed and locked up as criminals, and they should be, and that's just the truth, so I don't know, only you know your story, not anybody else, but I heard you're about to run into an undercover agent soon, and your ass is about to be busted, so it might be this FBI agent, Aquarius, I'm pulling in here, for all we know, I don't know, but you are a criminal masculine Aquarius, and your ass is about to be busted by undercover agent. Now, I don't know if this is undercover private investigator, undercover police investigator, or an FBI agent, or any other agency agent. I don't know, criminal Aquarius, but your ass is about to be busted, sir. I'll tell you that right now. So, no money will be cut. Well, I think you, in this situation, you think money's going to come to you. I think this might be a drug deal. I didn't hear it was, but I think this might be a drug deal. There's a reason... This undercover Aquari uh, undercover um, agent, whether they're an Aquarius or not, is about to run into you because of intel, because of your ass. So I think it might be a drug deal or prostitution or something of that nature. You are Aquarius masculine, sir. So I don't know if you're selling your body or selling drugs or what you're doing over here, but somehow... Uh, um, Agent, undercover agent, is about to bust your ass. So I think there's money involved here with the money will be coming to you, except 
Boom, negative power moment. No, not so much. Rise about to be locked up. Just saying, just saying. Alone is about to become very significant in an Aquarius feminine, feminine life. Alone is about to become very significant in an Aquarius Femme's life. So um, money will be coming to you in this aspect. Aquarius Femme is a loan. Um, I think you're about to take out this loan. Um, you're either going to primarily sign it or have a co-signer. Um, however that resonates. But um, some kind of loan is about to come out. Um, I feel you're about to take this loan out. Or you could work for the um, loan company or a bank. However that resonates. Um, some kind of loan. You're an Aquarius femme. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you, um, are you work in a banking institution and you're about to help acquire this loan for somebody? Or are you co going to the bank or a loan company to acquire a loan? Or are you co-signing on a loan? Or are you or are you primarily signing on a loan? However that resonates, okay? In this aspect, this is loan energy. Four chakra, Archangel Raphael. A betrayal of a cancer for some and a Libra for some in the sex department is is has opened your eyes in a huge way. A huge way. A betrayal by a cancer for some and a Libra for some in the sex department has opened your eyes in a huge way. Um, and Scorpio for some. And a Scorpio for some. So for some, a betrayal of a Scorpio uh libra and a uh, um what was the other one scorpio libra and cancer has opened your eyes in a huge way so i think it's opened your heart chakra to maybe somebody else or opened your possibilities to love to somebody else one of you guys has gotten betrayed um in this i heard sex department i think they put you in a third party a situation ship or a sneaky link or something like that um this is what i feel for some and i'm just being for real um some kind of Cancerian energy, Libra energy, energy or um, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Libra, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Hamish of your charts. But I think it's caused you to open up your heart to other person, people, place, or situation. Now, this, this doesn't have to be like romantic love. For some, it could turn into romantic love. For some, it could be platonic love to other person, people, places, or situations. Um, how that resonates, but I, I think it's caused you to open your heart chakra to other situations because you've been betrayed. And I heard the sex department, so I think it was carnal. I think it was carnal, and it was for some it could have been prostitution. Um, for some, maybe not. Um, but they have definitely betrayed you in some shape or fashion. But I think it's caused you to open your heart to other situations. For some, you could be um, dating. For some, dating possibly um for some maybe going back to your partner or partners if you were in a relationship i mean everybody's situation is different you have to plug it in how it resonates a divorce is about to become very significant in aquarius's life And a protection order from a former lover. A divorce is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. And for some, a protection order from a former lover. Holy shit, it could be that Aquarius, that Libra. I'm mean, not that Aquarius, sorry. That um, Libra, Cancer, or Scorpio. You plug it in how it resonates. So for some, a protection order on a former lover. It sounds like you're going to place this protection order on the former lover if that resonates for you uh, it's about to become significant in one of you guys' life um i mean only you know how many lovers you've had and what have you what have you for some it could be one protection order for some two or two plus um 
Yeah, and for some, a divorce is significant. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I think you've already gotten divorced or you're about to get divorced. How would that resonate? There is love all around, and you know this. There is love all around, and you know this. So there's love all around. So there's love all around. So in this aspect, love is all around. Love is all around you. Open your heart chakra and um, know there's love all around. If you're the one um, going through the divorce or about to go through divorce or um, or uh, getting the protection order from the former lover or lovers, um, just know there's love all around, which that's absolutely true. Trust me, I was gang stalled for about two years, me and my kids as a single mother in my community. I'll just give you an example. And that's just the truth. But... I still believe in the better of people, and that's the truth. Even going through all that craziness, I still believe in the betterment of people. Um, and it was hard at times, especially when I was in workplace situations and people were being so freaking mean to me, because that's usually when people were the meanest to me. Um, not so much out in the community. Sometimes it was, but not so much. But I would watch tarot readings before, I mean, even when I read, but especially before, and I would hear, love is all around, love is all around, love is all around. Now I'm hearing it for you guys, but it's the truth. Love is all around. I took that, and I really took those words, and I really, when I was being gang stalked, before I started reading, and I held on to those when I would go out into the community with my kids. Love is all around. I stuck that in my head because I felt I needed to, and it's the truth. When I would go anywhere, love is, I kept thinking to myself, love is all around, love is all around. And it helped. Positive affirmations help. So I feel somebody might need to hear that. I heard love is all around. So hopefully nobody's getting gang stalked. I didn't hear you were. But it's so bad that at least one of you guys is going to have to put a protection order or you feel you need to put a protection order on one of your former lovers. Um, so just know love is all around. Um, hopefully that story helps somebody out there because that is exactly what I did. And it really, really, really helped me because I was wanting safety for me and my kids in public and you should never want that. I mean, you should never have to, um, feel that way. You should never have to feel that way out public is what I'm trying to say, but I did. And for years, years that happened. And that's just the truth. Now, it's not happening now by any stretch. It's actually very opposite now. Very, very, very opposite. Very. Um, but I held on to those words for a long time when we'd go out to Walmart just to get quick stuff, go to eat um, anywhere because so many crazy things were happening. Love is all around. So I feel somebody might need to hear that. Love is all around. Love is all around. Okay. If that helps somebody out there, let me see if I hear anything else. There are many series of shame events and Aquarius is going to fall in love, whether they want to or not. They are really trying hard not to make this happen, but it is going to happen. Know this. As much as you're trying to fight it in that head, it is going to happen. I heard as much as you're trying to fight it in that head, it's going to happen. Whoa. So one of you guys is trying to fight love. Uh, I'm telling you that right now. You're trying to fight love. Confirmation, by the way. Come on, fat boy. You're trying to fight it. And I don't know as Aquarius is you're very analytical, head over heart. I know. I know. I know Aquarius. I know. I'm not an Aquarius, but I know your sign, and I know the... Um, stereotypical, um, stereotypical descriptors for your sign there. And they're very analytical and very, um, head of all, just for real, real. Um, it's the truth. Now, just because you're an Aquarius, I mean, you manifest yourself in different ways, absolutely. You are the manifestor of your own destiny. But stereotypical Aquariuses are head over heart. And that's just the truth. Now, however you manifest yourself in 3D is how you manifest yourself. And that's just the damn truth. But 
one of you guys, at least one of you guys, is trying to fight love. You're trying to fight it. But I heard it's going to happen, whether you want to or not. Series of chain of events. It's going to happen, whether you want to or not. And this sounds like true love. Like, and I'm just being for real. I think somebody is about to melt that Aquarian heart. Is exactly what I think. Or they already have. I think for a lot of you guys are about to. And I'm not downing you. I'm not downing you saying the term Aquarian heart. But I mean, I think you're trying to protect your heart. Is exactly what I think. I think you're trying to protect it. Because trust me, hell, I'm a Leo sun. But we all take on different energies. And that's just damn true. My heart, hell, people told me I'm fucking ice queen in the community. Like at work spaces. Now I'm an ice queen. I got the heart of... Um, fucking ice heart when it comes to relationships when it comes to relationships not when it comes to other things but relationships but i'm an ice queen because i told them i don't want want nobody so i get it and I, I have no aquarius in my chart but my point is i think you're whoever you are masculine or feminine you're taking on the same ice queen or ice king mentality when it comes to love is what i'm trying to say but it's going to happen whether your little ice king or ice queen heart here wants it to happen. Whoever you are, sir or ma'am. I mean, I'm just being for real, for real. I think you're about to meet your match. Um, and there's going to be feelings there whether you want it to be or not. And I'm just being for real. I mean, I don't know how to say it. Okay? For some, they could have already started to develop. For some, maybe it's upcoming. You plug it in how it resonates. Trip, 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 trip. Come on, bad boy. For one, you it was hard to deal with the pregnancy of a cancer, but through many series of chain of events, it's about to make you very happy. Know this. Not going to be your problem anymore. Oh my god. Well, okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, there's my Aquariuses. There you go. Oh shit. Okay, so you uh Okay, whoever you are, this uh, you know this pregnant uh, cancer. And for some, I feel it was your former lover, sex partner over here in that group over there. But you plug it in how it resonates, the one that portrayed you. Um, she's currently pregnant, it sounds like, in the universe. I heard at first it was hard to take that she was pregnant. Um, but I heard soon, through many series of chain events, you're, uh, you're about to be really glad that um, she actually is, and it sounds like she's prayed about somebody else. You're about to be really glad that she's prayed about somebody else because it's not going to be your problem, meaning the kid um, is what I'm thinking, and the child support and the responsibility of another mouth to feed or the cancer and the fact that she made the choice to knock the boots with somebody else. How that resonates. But it's not your responsibility, i.e. it's not your kid, whoever you are. Um, that's true Aquarian nature right there. But I would take on that kind of mentality too. And I have no Aquarius in my chart. I'm just being real. But it's not. It's not your responsibility. If somebody else knocked her up, it's not your responsibility. And that's just the truth. But I think one of you guys, um, well, it sounds like you're about to take on that mindset. And I mean, that's just the truth. I heard it once hurt you. So I think maybe you were in love with her. Or you wanted to be in love with her, or you wanted to make it work with her, but soon you're about to basically look at the glass in a different way, like glass half full versus glass half empty kind of energy, um, and realize that actually it wasn't for you. This person wasn't for you, is what I'm feeling. Obviously, I think you're a cancer masculine, if that resonates for you. Not a cancer. Why did I say cancer? Aquarius masculine. Aquarius masculine.
Candles. And a spiritual bath is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Candles and a spiritual bath is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. And a hot stone massage. And a hot stone massage. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Candles and a spiritual bath and a hot stone massage is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. That, ooh, man. That sounds freaking A, wonderful, whoever you are. And a private investigator is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life, too. And a private investigator is, well, I don't know how that would be heart chakra. A private investigator is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life, too. So private investigator energy, whether you're being privately investigated or you're hiring this person to privately investigate somebody, somehow a private, or for some, well, yeah, I don't think it's you as a private investigator. It's, I feel you're either hiring this private investigator or the private investigator has been hired to investigate how that resonates. Some kind of private investigator energy is about to become significant. So I feel somebody's either hired this private investigator to investigate you or you're hiring the private investigator to investigate somebody else. How that resonates. Power. Abuse of power is about to be investigated in a huge way. For one Aquarius, you're about to be investigated. For one, you're about to help investigate somebody else. Okay, I heard abuse of power is about to become very significant in Aquarius' life. For one, you're about to be investigated for abuse of power. And for one, um, um, you're about to help investigate somebody else for abuse of power. So some kind of abuse of power energy, whether you're being about to be investigated or somebody's about to um, investigate you for abuse of power, or you're about to investigate somebody else, how that resonates. A power tool is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Okay, I heard a power tool is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. And a man-to-man -man talk, son to uh, son to father talk is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life, both adults. So a power tool is about to become significant in Aquarius's life, and a man to son talk, uh, both adults, is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So you could be this adult son that's about to, um, Aquarius is about to have a, a conversation with your adult father, or you could be the adult father about to have the um, convers significant conversation, man to, uh, man to man talk with the adult son, however that resonates. Energies can be reversed. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and then abuse of power investigation energy. An Aquarius is about to help put several people away. Seriously away. Huge crimes in their community. An Aquarius is about to uh, help put many people away soon. Huge crimes in their community. Black magic coven energy. Money laundering. Forgery. Extortion, embezzlement. Oh my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. So um, some of you guys is about to help put many criminals away, basically. Um, 
I think a way away. I think probably jail first and then prison. Because you know you, you go jail first and then prison. But there was a whole list of charges. I mean a whole freaking list. So however you're going to help put them away. It could be a significant report. It could be a um, you could be law enforcement. You could be um, an investigator. You could be work for the feds. Hell I don't know. Um, you could be a citizen that knows this information for all I know. I'm not sure. But there was a whole slew of crimes. Extortion, embezzlement, money laundering, uh, forgery, uh, black magic, Coben energy, Coben energy. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates, man. A whole slew. But it's a bunch of people in your community, whoever this is. I mean, it's a bunch of folks. So however that resonates, I didn't hear specifically how many. J M K A J M K A F F J M K A F C C L and L. So there were so many of them. I'm not going to repeat them all. Um, you can go back and check. There's a bunch of let, uh, initials there. So that could be a first, middle, or a last initial of you, your name or some kind of significant initial in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, or any um, initial of anything significant in your life. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it might be a first, middle, or last initial of your name or somebody you're connected to's name. Um Maybe somebody in this coven or somebody that's frauded or embezzled or money laundered or what have you, what have you, um, or a former lover or the pregnant cancer or anything going on up in here, um, how that resonates or some kind of significant initial in your life in some shape or fashion, how that resonates. But there was a whole slew of initials, so you'll have to go back and check um, how they resonate, okay? Cash App and PayPal is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. Cash App and PayPal is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So Cash App and PayPal is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of Cash App and PayPal energy. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.